ஹாய் காய்ஸ் வெல்கம் டு பிசி பாயிண்ட் அண்ட் ஃபார் ப்ரிப்பேரிங் திஸ் ஒத்தன்டிக் சிந்தி பிரேக்ஃபாஸ்ட் வி வில் ரிகவர் ஆட்டா ஐ ஹவ் டேக்கன் டூ கப்ஸ் ஆஃப் ஆட்டா ஃபைன்லி சாப்ட் ஆனியன்ஸ் ஒன் கிரீன் சில்லி தேட் இஸ் ஃபைன்லி சாப்ட் கொரியாண்டர் ரெட் சில்லி பவுடர் ஜீரா அண்ட் சால்ட் ஆஸ் பர் டேஸ்ட் வி வில் ஆல்சோ ரிக்வயர் வாட்டர் டு மேக் த டோ ஃபார் தி கோக்கி and oil for frying them so take all the ingredients in a bowl like so this recipe is perfect if you are traveling or for your kids breakfast to be given in the tiffin and everything we will be adding 5 tablespoons of oil so that it becomes nice and soft from the inside and i will be making it a tight dough make sure that the dough that you make is pretty much tight don't add too much water and as you can see my dough is very much tight i haven't used this much amount of water this much amount is left so take a orange uh, size ball of the dough and flatten out in your palm in itself just flatten out a little bit on your palm and slightly roast it on the tawa, on the girdle or the tawa make sure you are partially roasting it not fully roasting it as you can see it has been roasted a little bit just as you can see some brown spots here and there and now we will take some loose atta on the top and we'll start rolling it completely and once it's done we will place it on the tawa again and now with the help of our spatula we will be adding some cuts here and there just for the heat to penetrate within and once it's done on the on the one side we will be adding oil you can also add ghee because authentically um, ghee is been added to it but if you are diet conscious then uh, then you can also use olive oil for it and keep doing it until you get nice and brown kokki on both the sides don't worry it's not burning at all it's becoming crisp from the outside and soft from the inside and hope you like this recipe you can enjoy it with curd and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you like it and i'll see you guys with my rest next recipe and bye thank you